The internet and the consequent possibilities of digital communication offer a variety of fields of work which are problematic from the perspective of a media law expert. An example, media piracy. It is also frequently called a global scourge, which on the one hand is indicative of the existence of a global problem, and on the other hand obviously means that the infringement of intellectual property law causes huge economic damage. The question of copyright is tied up with this derivative or even free work protected by copyright. In 2010, 4.5 million citizens in Germany obtained illegal data from the internet, including music programs and feature films. Also approximately 1.6 billion worth of pirated programs were pirated in Germany. 27% of all the programs used in Germany are illegal. In comparison, France has a piracy rate of 39%, which corresponds to a value of 1.9 billion euros. Around the world, USA, China, Russia are the top of the list. In Argentina, as I found in an international research program, I don't know if it is true, the rate is, the piracy rate is 75%. Indicative of the existence of a global problem, and on the other hand, obviously means that the infringement of intellectual property law causes huge economic damage. The question of copyright is tied up with this derivative or even free work protected by copyright. In 2010, 4.5 million citizens in Germany obtained illegal data from the internet, including music programs and feature films. Also approximately 1.6 billion worth of pirated programs were pirated in Germany. 27% of all the programs used in Germany are illegal. In comparison, France has a piracy rate of 39%, which corresponds to a value of 1.9 billion euros. Around the world, US a, China, Russia are the top of the list. In Argentina, as I found in an international research program, I don't know if it is true, the rate is, the piracy rate is 75%. It is for me unbelievable. Placing itself at the top of the Latin American country list, it was followed by Mexico with 63 and Brazil with 60 percent. According to a recent study, copyright violations are increasing in particular in emerging countries such as Brazil, India, Russia, South Africa, Mexico and Bolivia. A significant factor contributing to this remains above all the unavailability of any affordable legal internet access. People in these countries are almost forced into, forced into piracy in order to ensure cultural participation. To quote an example, a copy of Microsoft Office in these countries costs sometimes five to ten times as much as in other countries. In other words, a DVD that costs $24 in the USA would have been available in India for $14. What a priori sound cheaper, what a priori sound cheaper, measured against Indian income levels, in fact works out as high price. Putting the price in relation to average North American income, 
is the DVD from India would cost $54 in the US. So hardly affordable for the average Indian in their motherland. The legal market is dominated by global players. There is hardly any de facto competition. High prices are the consequence of this. In order to remain part of the culture, people are going the way of cultural theft of product for personal consumption. Yet tougher sanction on copyright infringement diminish cultural participation, therefore is actually makes more sense to create more affordable legal media services for people in emerging, emerging economies. Local living conditions and income levels should be taken into account. How necessary is this to protect intellectual property would be shown by the slides which I prepared, which demonstrates to the saving impact of a reduction of 10 percentage of piracy, to reduce the piracy rate of 10 percent in countries, will bring a gain for the world economy, the legal economy, of billions and billions of dollars. Intellectually, property law must be protected and must be available for all at the same time because the sense of this protection lies in the appropriate remuneration of the author's intellectual effort and above all in the promotion of innovation and creativity. Innovation and creativity are part of all cultures which in turn can only remain cultures if they are accessible. This actually means that, the, that culture must be acquirable for all because the artist is nothing without his or her public. His work only achieves renown and commercial success in this way. So the legal owner, thank you everyone. So the legal owners concerned for legal protection and the public users and therefore the general public's demand for information are pitted against each other. The plot thickens with a debate on open access publishing. This term refers to affordable, de facto free of charge, unrestricted online access to information for everybody. The prestigious German Max Planck Society for Intellectual Property, Competition and Tax Law, therefore advocates the promotion of a free access publications. This is a broad field of inquiry. inquiry. The drawing of boundaries will be decisive. How far can the intellectual property rights of the authors be disregarded in favor of their general use. Where does the equitable decision lie in the assessment, assessment of this issue? Nevertheless, nevertheless, the immense economic damage inflicted by digital piracy not only hurts individual artists, but also respective states. I told you the figures of the damage for the world economy. 